I wrote this little song based around a guitar lick that I learned, and it was on um, second album or third album, I don't remember, one of them. And we, did, we were asked to go to Asia and do a series of concerts, the first being in Hong Kong, and it was an outside show. There were 5,000 seats within the perimeter of the show, and in, in Hong Kong, you're surrounded by buildings. And if there were 5,000 people in the show, there were 10,000 people hanging off the buildings. And I started the show, and I played my songs, and we kept hearing a word yelled at us. And it, it, first thing, we're thinking, well, it's in Chinese. I, I don't know what they're saying anyway. And, and they kept saying it. They kept saying it. And finally, I turned around to the drummer, who was real familiar with all my albums and everything. And I said, the drummer's name was Thumpy, of all things. I said, Thumpy, what are they saying? And they, she, he said, they're saying Stony. I said, Stony? And, and to me, that was just an obscure little, you know, added song on the album. What I should have done was walked up in front of the microphone, even if the band didn't know it, and, and play it, because it's basically... So, I, but I didn't, and I, but I went on the microphone, and I said, I'm sorry, but we don't know that, and, and, and there were, it was a really, a, not, not a happy scene, I mean, they weren't booing or anything, they were nice, they were very polite, so we, we were doing two shows in the same venue, so the next night, I, had, I mean, the next afternoon, I got the band together, and I said, listen, we need to learn this song, so I said, yeah, okay, so they learned, it's very easy to play, so the first time I said, we had requests last night for this song, and I, I apologize for not doing it. So I went. And the, the place erupted. I mean, this is Hong Kong. And I'm thinking, I didn't even know they knew this song. Well, as soon as they, over there, they, they sing all the songs with you, which I like. I, I, I never complained about that. But. They were they sang and they, they just yelled and screamed. And they, well, I. We got back and we were talking to the, the Hong Kong people that were with us in the tour. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I said, what's the deal? What's the stony? And, and one of the younger guys said to me, that's a campfire song. Now, this is in Hong Kong. A campfire song. I mean, I, put, put that your head around that. Where do you have campfires and sit around singing songs in Hong Kong? Well, what they meant, and they explained it to us, he said, no, we don't have, they won't let us have campfires in Hong Kong. So what we did, we, it, it, was, it was in the colleges and schools, and any time young people got together and they were singing, they got in a circle, in a, like in, indoors, and played like they were around the campfire. And so that's why they called them campfire songs. And this was the most popular song for that thing. And I, and I believe my success in that part of the world was based on two facts. One very easy to understand. The music was very clear. My voice is way out in front. They learned, uh, they learned the English way to sing the song, not necessarily knowing what it meant, but they learned how to speak, not speak English from that, but helped them. And so that's why it was such a big song. And it, over the years that, that I toured over there, which is 30 odd years, it was always the, the favorite song and uh, when we did it live, we would always do a thing. We'd take it out in the audience, and they'd all sing, you know, and they always sound like a drunk in the bar. I stone, you know. But but everybody had a good time, and we had fun with it. And that's the story about Stony. <laughs>